and what we believe we do at OPEX really well, what I'm going to try to do for you is to take all that information and truly make sense of what program design is. The one thing that keeps us really tied close to fitness and what people do is truly a search for their maximum physical potential. At one point in time, there was fitness. Now there seems to be multiple different definitions of fitness. There's a functional level of fitness that's required for everyone decidingly what they want to do. This creates massive opportunity for a coach, which is awesome, which is the reason why we love our job, because it allows us to be creative to help people in what they, des what they want to do for their fitness environment. The, the negative side of functional fitness is the naming of it and then not really dissecting into what it means. On a fitness journey, Everyone really needs to know where their starting point is. So the kind of things that we want to do for someone who's just beginning and wants to live long and prosper, their work capacity is totally different than someone who wants to win the CrossFit Games, uh, run 400 meters in a PR of 52 seconds, you know, snatch and clean and jerk a certain weight at 60% for 40, uh, 40 reps in a row for a certain time. It's all varied and that work capacity will be reflective for them. Therefore, by doing full body activities numerous times of the week, it's very healthy in a base practice to try to improve their overall gains. So mixed modal training can be placed in aerobic training, can be placed in anaerobic training, or can be done for improvements in strength, strength endurance, and muscle endurance. But the concept or idea of it needs to be clarified to recognize the main differences in cyclical versus mixed modal training. There's massive unknowns and limitations built into mixed modal training in comparing it to cycling. Energy systems training and the training of these pieces is trying to make this curve as smooth and as beautiful as possible. So energy system training unto itself is actually flirting with the maximum of whatever system you're trying to improve, okay? When we're dealing with anaerobic training and calling it pain on the gain, pain, sustain continuum, you really have to think about some main work-rest ratio ideas before you want to implement that within your training program. And remember that you actually have to be strong enough to be able to do anaerobic work. So if you're a coach thinking about that, you're really trying to get a, a layout and a plan as to how they will respond to what you're going to be giving them. And there's a way to do that within assessment. Or if you're someone who's just wanting to learn about that in terms of how important it is before you design an exercise program, you have to see how people look at work and apply work into what they do in their exercise program before we actually lay out. Otherwise, we're just guessing. First of all, it'll modify people's pace and where they do it. Secondly, what we're looking at is it's not really that important when people start an exercise program to see just how powerful they are. What gives us an indication is how fast they recover from that power. Before you begin a journey, whether that's be physical fitness performance for a sport, uh, physical fitness performance to go from below zero to zero and back to homeostasis, or just physical fitness improvements to ensure that that's a base support to live long and prosper. We want to understand the difference between vitality and death, the other ends of the spectrum. If we're to look at what actually creates success, a successful model of spirit, mind, and body for 60, 70, 80, 90 year olds, I can guarantee you that from 20 to 40 years of age, maximal physical potential under fatigue is not what sets those people up for longevity for the highest potential for those three things of spirit, mind, and body. Even for elite fitness people today, they can make weight training and gymnastics and other really complex activities look aerobic and they can maintain that for 20, 30 minutes, which they could actually sustain for hours. I know that can blow people's minds, but they've made that almost walking in some cases based upon their fitness level and their exposure to different kinds of contractions. The investigation of what is happening when people do the exercise is trying to figure out the dose response of the exercise unto itself. Over a period of time, people will adapt fast, but their rate of adaptation and speed of lear learning will slow over time. When you do planning, it really comes down to lifestyle, lifestyle, lifestyle.